a bunch of them. Where? Right here on the bottom. Below the headline, there's a headline, subhead, bullet points. But they're not bulleted. They're just sentences. No, they're bulleted. Oh, they but, are? Okay. I can't but they're long that. bullet points. There are, that's an interesting question, though, Bob, because John actually said he tested the short bullet points where it's just a couple of words, and he said that works better for him. I did test shorter versions of the bullet points, but the longer ones worked on the sales that are better. And I also tried some sexier, fancier, I know should be better bullet points because I can write copy. We're talking about thousands and thousands of pages being tested on, page views and actions being taken. Not thousands of actions, obviously, but... On all the sales letters I have. So it's not just this sales letter that this works on. Bullet points in general. Big bullet points work better than small bullet points? I haven't tested big versus small. I have tested bullet points versus no bullet points, and, and that bullet points generally work on the sales letter, and my friends have, have verified that too. <coughs> to be honest, not enough conversions to worry about whether it's absolutely true on this, so I tested it on other sites too. Because if you're only selling 50, 100 different things, that's not enough actions. You can run thousands of pages, though, for opt-ins. And on opt-ins, too, I test bullet points. Test bullet points extensively on opt-ins. The colors of the bullet points matter. The length of the bullet points matter. The placement of the bullet points all matter. And that's all in the DVDs you have in your possession. Have you tested the uh, number of words in your headline? I've had copywriters nope. tell me that 18 or less uh, works better. But I see up there you have a heck yeah, of a well, lot of them. Frank believed that too, but from the testing I could do on the opt-in and also on the sales page, the longer one worked. I generally believe that a shorter one is better because they can digest it sooner, but this is actually a combination of methods used by John Carlton and Scott Gaines, does that sound right? Is that right? It's a combination of some of the stuff that they use. Not, I didn't cut and paste their headlines, but it's some of the techniques that they use, and they've had great success with longer headlines. So I'm not afraid to use long headlines, and my results have also shown that the headline isn't so as important as some of the other stuff on the page, such as what it is that's in the headline, what's in the, in the superscript headline, like totally free, really works well. First thing that they see works really well, and that can overcome a headline that may be longer. And then bullet points in general underneath the headline. Um, those guys told me it worked for them and for my testing. I've seen substantial improvements, but because I don't think I've had enough, I rely upon John and Mike and Andy who have tested it to a great extent and they've had great success with it. And it worked wonders for me too. So on this sales letter though, this particular sales letter, I didn't have enough actions to really stay confident, but on the other stuff it's worked great. So in this one it worked fantastic. But then I deferred to John and Andy. Andy was actually selling product for years, and so was John. And they've had thousands of actions taken upon the bullet points placed on the page. And I've tested shorter versus long. And other on my, on my opt-in pages, I've tested different color bullet points, short ones, long ones. And it's not always the same. So no headlines. Any questions about this? I just want to give you guys some quick conversion technique stuff. People have said they wanted that. So there's a whole ton of this stuff on the DVDs. For the, the I've given presentations in the past that I gave you guys already. So please see getting started with Traffic King Pro DVD sets, disc one, two, three, and four for email marketing. I went into a great deal of email marketing, conversions, test results, also on page usability studies, eye tracking. TKP getting started DVD sets one, two, and three, great deal of product creation and market research. Also see the video tutorials on the affiliate marketing, product creation, and promotion. That's just a long way of saying it's on your video training disc also. So all product creation and market research, linking, all that stuff. You, I gave you guys over 30, if you stay until the end, well over 30 DVDs of me presenting, sometimes just me for days, including this weekend, which wasn't just me necessarily. But you have plenty of my thoughts on email, my test results, conversions, all